Hey one, how's it going? Blue Rising here. Alex is finally out for the Gala unit. Uh, the next one that has to come out is Laxi. It, I'm surprised it's been two months already. We're going to use our five-star dragon ticket. I got this a while ago and didn't really have a reason to use it. Let's just skip ahead and see what it is. Poseidon. Alright, not Poseidon, Leviathan. Apparently I don't have Leviathan. Cool enough. Alright, so now we can get on to this. I've already done the free one. I got Hawk, but I had a recording error, so I had to delete that part. So uh, we're just going to use all the temples right now. Because I'm pretty impatient. I don't want to go through 80 summon tickets right here, right now. If I could get her now, <laughs> that'd be great. And then we can talk about the um, the anniversary and stuff like that. Ooh, two of them. Ooh, what's going to be? Uh, nope. It's going to be a dragon. Oh, my gosh. Let's see who it is. All right. I'm so surprised summer units are still around. Normally, they're just limited to summer. It's crazy. And what else? Luca, that's surprising, I guess. I mean, I know he's here, but all right. Okay, second one. Ooh, that doesn't look good at all. Breakthrough? Nope. Uh, we'll see. We'll see the touchdown. Nope. All right, let's get it. Now, I've been wanting to summon for a while because I'm running out of L water. I'm not running out. I still have 200,000. But 200,000 is like the limit I normally try to hit. If I hit it, I'm like, I'm not going to spend anymore. I need at least another 100,000 or so. This is my ruling for it. Uh, Lance, Axe. Was there any Lance, Gala, I, Mim? She's the only one I can think of. Oh, okay. Oh. Oh, okay. I wonder now who I'm actually missing. Maybe limited characters, and that's really it? I can't think of how many characters I'm actually missing now. I have a lot. Oh, and that's it for that. All right. I don't particularly want to use my Wormite right now. I want to save it. There's another Fire Emblem thing coming up. So we're going to go it's purely singles. <laughs> it's very annoying. Very annoying. We can just skip ahead. Normally, we'll see what it is. I don't care if it's like gonna show rainbows or whatever, we'll just skip ahead for, for the sake of brevity. You know, I don't wanna see her waste all your time. And you know, so far in Dragalia, there there hasn't been too many things that have 100% interested in me, which is why I haven't made videos. I think, think it's kind of pointless for me to make a video and say, oh, well, I'm not really interested in this or I'm not interested in that. You know, there's no, no real reason for me to do that. So I only make it when I'm. Um, Truly interested in something instead of sitting around and complain. And Yuya, I don't know. Maybe this will be seen as me taking the deal. Oh, it's Hope. I already got him, which is pretty cool. I like Hope a lot. He has a um, main character voice. He has a his voice actor is the same one as um, Kirito. Uh, there's there's a lot of them. Uh, Soma from Food Wars. I'm, I believe I'm correct on that. And oh, there's a ton. He's just main pro tag though. This dude gets so many voice lines. I mean voice lines. So many um roles. It's crazy. You know, every character in your galley, almost every character, suffers from like main character syndrome. Almost to a degree. A lot of these characters look like they could be their own protagonist in their own series. Which is crazy. You know, Hope himself looks like he could have been the protagonist. And nothing so far. I was gonna try with something else, but um, you know, I was watching. So there's the new Black Clover game, and then there's the Tribes game, and the Seven Deadly Sins game, and I was watching some videos on it. I kind of, I don't know. It, it's weird. I see YouTube videos where people just kind of sit in the hub and complain. I mean, <laughs> I do it too at times, but it, I mean, it's like the whole video, like it's just that complaining and stuff like that. And I feel like if I have to complain about a game for so long, I might as well just quit it. Um, it was the reason I quit Smash, Smash Rising. is because I was just going to sit around and complain. But I see it kind of often, and I don't know. It's a bit weird. I'm not saying anything really against the, the YouTubers. Or at least I don't think I am. You know, when it comes down to it, it just comes down to being a talking head video. You know, like, you're just saying things you feel. But for some reason, it, it kind of bothered me. One of them was on Seven Deadly Sins, the new game. You've probably seen ads for it all up the place. But in the video, 
it was it was really like I don't know how to explain it like he was saying this game isn't a gotcha because you have to grind a lot so it's like a full-fledged game but to me I think most regular games have significantly less grinding or I should say that you don't have to grind as much in a regular game I'm replaying Kingdom Hearts 2 right now and I'm grinding on my own volition but and I'm playing on critical mode. I could grind if I want to. I can also get substantially far without having to spend hours of my time doing repetitive same things over and over and over against a dragon. Sorry, Siren. I already have you. But I kind of found it annoying, to be honest, how they said this game isn't like a regular game. You have to grind a lot. And I'm like, what are you talking about? Most gotchas, most mobile games are solely reliant on grinding. Like almost 100%. Like you do the same thing over and over and over again. It's not like we have some super epic story to proceed through. I, I would say FGO sort of hits this, uh, hits this though. Cause um, FGO story is generally more well taken care of than other mobile games. But I just found I just found the video really really annoying, and I was reading the comments. And I'm like, well, I'm not gonna comment because everyone here is just agreeing with empty vague statements. It, it was frustrating almost to a point. It's like if I say anything, I'm pretty much going against the curve, at least of the video. I didn't want to be on some other person's YouTube channel being like, uh, you don't sound smart right now. <laughs> and trust me, I don't sound smart. Oh, I, I I'm not the genius at all, but. He was talking about these face values of... Oh, that was a dag. Uh, but as I was saying, he was like talking like you have to grind a lot in this game. A lot. And the characters are worth it. But I mean, you have to grind. He was contradicting himself a lot. And trust me, I, I can make pretty easy general generalities. Is that the word? About mobile games. I'm sorry this has turned out to me complaining about some stupid YouTube video. Yeah, I mean, it doesn't matter at the end of the day. But... Whatever, I, could, I, I have something to talk about. When I think about mobile games and stuff like that... Here, wait a second, let me, let me try to find my thoughts. Because I, I can say something ridiculous right now, but I'm trying not to. Okay, so I finally, I rewatched the video, and he said something... Because he's, he's promoting this 7 Deadly Sins Grand Cross, I think it's called Grand Cross. Grand Cross game as something that's more akin to an actual game like a console or pc game right but he he then says that he wouldn't grind or spend like three hours or something playing some game mind you i think most regular games you can have fun and i don't think grinding is fun by any means if it's the same thing over and over and over again i don't think that's fun of course that's a personal preference but in my line of thought i'm thinking if I have to run, let's use your gallery for example, if I have to run Imperial Onslaught and really it's a bore every single time just to get a weapon, you know, because it becomes easier or it just becomes the same thing over and over and over again, I don't think that's fun at all. But <laughs> he says in his video, I wouldn't spend like three hours grinding or anything in a game because that's not fun. And then he promotes wailing. He said, if you spend money, you get what your money's worth. But he was comparing it to other games, which didn't make a good um, equal trade value. I don't know. I was I was super triggered. <laughs> I was triggered. I was triggered by this video, but I didn't want to make a comment. So I guess I guess I was just holding this in this whole time ever since I saw that video because I was just like, oh, it sounds it sounds kind of stupid. And then he, he gets on the fact, I'm sorry, I, I want to keep talking about this. This is, this is the video right now. He gets on the fact about that you can't beat Grand Cross. You can't beat any mobile game, in my opinion, because as long as content is going to come out, there's technically no end. Yes, you can beat the story segments, you beat uh, whatever event comes out, you get to the end of the event. But at the end of the day, most mobile games are sp supposed to be continued in perpetuity, per whatever. But you're not supposed to finish them. You're not supposed to just... Even if you hit the level cap on all of your characters, sooner or later, there might be something that increases that level cap. I think there's a few offline mobile games you can actually play that have definitive endings. 
and I'm not like counting like when Square Enix puts Final Fantasy on mobile and you can buy it for twenty dollars. There was one I had. Ye uh, who was that? Oh. Anyway, as, as I got sidetracked there, I was saying something about Perfect Duty. Yeah, mobile games don't end. Where you can you can pretty much hit the ceiling. I think you can hit the ceiling. But sooner or later, they're going to build another floor. That's just how it is. And, and really, it's how fast you hit those ceilings. I think Pokemon's Masters' biggest issue was that you hit the ceiling pretty fast when you started the game. But, I'm going to give credit to Pokemon Masters because it doesn't have a stamina system. And stamina systems are outdated. I don't believe they should exist anymore, in my opinion. I feel like, obviously, they're only a way to get money out of people, because most of them require premium currency to refill stamina and stuff like that. And that's really it. But, again, I'll use FGO. I have around 300-something uh, gold apples. Like, I have a lot of gold apples. Stamina isn't an issue. So, at that point, why the hell do we have to worry about stamina so much? For new players, they're going to have to worry about it. But why even have the system when you can invalidate it so easily? Especially after a few months of playing. Now, a few months of playing it is kind of a lot of time for an average player. I don't, I don't believe most people play mobile games more than four to five months. I'm just talking about like an average person who downloads a random game and they're like, I'm just going to play this. I don't believe they continue past four to five months. Sooner or later, uh, the, um, what's that called? The window of time. The honeymoon phase will we'll, we'll sooner or later end. But yeah, I don't know. I'm, I'm done ranting. I'm done ranting and complaining. Thanks for listening. <laughs> I don't know. When I see videos like that, that, that really just do vagities. Vagities? Is that even a word? Vague statements. It kind of annoys me because it's obvious it's just a first impression and you don't really have a strong opinion so you, you pretty much say anything you want again i always like to say this this is why i started the appcast series where i, I have to play a game like i can't just start it up and say eh, this is what i think about it because that leads to opinions being pretty much muddled your opinion really wouldn't matter too much to someone without a, like a critical ear or whatever maybe it would i at least want to say i've played this game to a degree because for the most part most people's honest first opinion probably doesn't have much of a, um, a standing because it's your first opinion it's your first intake on whatever the thing is unless you're well versed in the subjects and you can form that really strong opinion I don't know I'm getting a lot of these dragons I don't like I would link the video but I don't want to I don't want to cause any drama it's just a stupid stupid YouTube video. <laughs> Mine too. Mine is a stupid YouTube video. It's all stupid YouTube stuff. Have I really not hit Alex yet? This is insane. And you know, trust me, I've made plenty of mistakes when it came to a rushed out opinion. Like, oh, I just think it's like this and like that and like this. And I didn't really think about anything else. I've, I've had that happen before to me. Like, I've rushed out an opinion. It, it doesn't really make too much sense because I'm kind of going all over the place. I think of one thing and then I think of another thing without making any strong sense of correlation. But I don't know. I feel like I'm a bit more confident in when I can say an opinion, especially about a mobile game. I've played over 50 on the channel and 70 in general, I think. I think so. So I would, I would like to say... I'm good at making a, a definitive opinion about a mobile game after at least seven days of playing because I can get through the honeymoon phase pretty fast. So we're really not going to get this? Where are you, Alex? Cassandra was nice. Kieran was nice. But really? No, Alex? All these tickets, all these tickets, I've been hoarding them for months. When did Luca come out? Months ago, right? Two months? At least two months ago. <laughs> So, <laughs> I've been sitting here with pretty much summon tickets and nothing. Jacob is another one of those characters that, I think this is Jacob. Um, he's another one of those characters that look like a main protagonist. Holy crap, dude. Are you serious? Oh, what? Is, what is this thing? I have no clue. I didn't know where 
he came from or what banner he was in. I or it. I'm not sure what the hell it is actually. Alright, so it's been a while since I last pulled a five star. We've been recording for some time now. Yeah, we've been recording for some time now. So oh I was just about to say, so maybe we'll just call it quits after this. We'll see what it is. Dagger? Nope. Great. Shinobi! Pretty kick-ass dragon, to be honest. Yeah, boy. Alright, well, last three summon tickets. I'm glad I was actually able to talk through the whole thing. Instead of montage, because I actually kind of hate editing it all together. <laughs> right now, I'm being incredibly lazy. I've been lazy for the past few days. Alright, final one. Final summon ticket is a 5-star. What's it gonna be? Please don't be a dragon. Oh my god. Someone new? Yeah, someone new. Alright, cool. Natalie. So, honestly, I don't want to do multis. And I just got a 5 star. It's not looking that great. How many should I commit to? Let's do 3. And then, really, if I can't get her, I guess that's it. Because I got Luca today. So I just try again another date. No, nothing. Nothing? Alright. Please. Oh my god, it's nothing. Are you serious? Okay. I don't see anything I like. Alright, last one. That's it. Last one, I'm done. I'm saving it. Fire Emblem's coming up. Fire Emblem's coming back. I gotta save it. Last time I got all the Fire Emblem characters, I'm going to try again, if they have any new ones. Which they have to, they have to have new ones. Well, alright, well, thanks for watching guys, thanks for listening to me complain for however long this has been. Wow. I don't know, videos like that get on my nerves sometimes. I don't know, sometimes a video gets to me and I just want to talk about it, but if I like make a comment on their channel, maybe we'll call drama or whatever. I'm not 100% negative against it. It's just critique. You know, I can critique whatever I want, which is a bit weird because some people don't take that too kindly. But whatever. It's fine. You can critique me too. I won't get too butthurt about it. <laughs> Regardless, I'll see you guys next time. Peace out. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Discord in the link below. Join it. Join it now. All right. I'll see you then. All right. Bye.